Welcome back to another episode of Old Head Sneaker Closet. As you saw in the introduction, we are diving into a New Balance sneaker that has gotten me really excited. In addition to, I feel like it's a contender for me, Sneaker of the Year. But first, let me get a shout out to all my subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you're new to the channel, thank you. I appreciate you also. But first, I need you to hit the like button. Turn around and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification button so you are aware of every time we drop a video. Matter of fact, I don't even need you to hit the like button. You can hit the dislike button, but leave a comment down below. Talk about it so we can improve the algorithm, improve the channel. I like constructive criticism and feedback. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh. Oh. Special shout out to my girl Carla. Cause she's the one that put me down on this shoe. Boy. Um she had posted this on her social media site. Um I'm gonna reach out to her, see if it's okay to put the link of her social media feed so you guys can follow her. She got some great content, always got some dope fits, great person. Um that you guys can get to know. The community, the sneaker community, is grateful to have her. So we appreciate positive people, great energy, awesome fits, and different perspectives. So I'll get her permission first to see if I can put her link down there for her uh, social media. And then you guys can also give her a follow. Well, you already know this is a New Balance sneaker. But I wasn't even aware of this shoe. This shoe is new to me. So let's first jump right into the box. And I got it right behind me. Grab that here. This is the box. The Jeremy Fish 301 Boards New Balance. Um, this box is crazy, y'all. First, let's start off. New Balance is notorious for giving us flimsy boxes. Uh, if you purchase New Balances in the past, the boxes will sometimes come dented up. They don't hold. Um, you might as well just get rid of the box. You're not keeping it. It's not good. But New Balance 303 Board Company and Jeremy Fish, who's the designer of the said shoe, uh, gave us a decent box. Not the best. I have, I have one that's better, but it's pretty good. This box is awesome. The details on the box with the rabbit. For those that don't know, let's already give the name so this makes sense to you. This is uh, the special pink bunny shoe, so that makes sense for the clap. Jeremy Fish is known, he's an artist actually. He's based out uh, in, in the Bay Area. He's originally from New York, but when he went to art school over on the West Coast, um, he decided to plant roots there. And this collab is with the 303 Boards Skate Company. And if you know him, and I'll put some information down below so you guys can get a little bit more uh, background about Jeremy. This is his art style, and I, I love it. I am amazed by this stuff. A little bit more, Jeremy's art is so unique and yet familiar. He teamed up with ASAP and did artwork for his album cover. Some of that stuff doesn't get publicized because there are other artists that I know. Um, Kid Super, he's done um, artwork for some Russ, Russ's uh, album cover. So there are artists who work with other artists, not in the same genre, uh, or platform to collab and yet it goes unknown unless you do some deep research in history so this is the top of the box inside the box is a cool looking bunny that's going on in there um just in case you know that's the bunny right there so that's even awesome like cool detail there he doesn't stop he goes and gives us this dust bag With the same art on the front of it, 303 uh, boards, New Balance with the rabbit. Dust bag is pretty awesome. Extra set of laces. These are the pink laces. Inside of the box is nothing crazy. It's just a regular box. Outside of the box, you got some more arts going on there. Another rabbit back there. He's winning already with the box for me. So that's where I love. The box kills it. I know you don't wear your box. However, those of us that collect like boxes, not for resale, don't get it twisted. It's, we love seeing the boxes. You can either hang, like have them in your background. If you have a shoe room, 
it's a nice display case for me. That's my opinion. Let's now get into the shoe. I actually have the shoes on. I've been wearing these things ever since. And let me take these off. This is, get ready, the 480 New Balance. Now, I have to admit, this is my first pair of 480s. I've not owned a pair of 480s, and here's why. I knew friends, um, kids that I skate with, they wore the 480s. They're obviously a great shoe. I've never seen one that had spoke to me enough that I wanted to wear them. They reminded me of Vans. Now, nothing to say about this shoe. When I first glanced at this shoe, I got Club C Reebok vibes. I got um, the G Unit vibes on this shoe. However, this shoe stands on its own. I don't mean to disrespect uh, Jeremy Fish or New Balance and compare it to another shoe, but that's the vibe I got. I just want to give you that. The shoe is an all over leather, brown leather. So that's the first part. Uh, it comes with pink and brown wax laces. You got this cool 303 lace toggle in there. And what's unique about the shoe that Jeremy did something else with this and some may not have caught it. They do the little new buck on the heel of the shoe. But if you look at it, it kind of gives you the tail of a rabbit. The fuzzy tail. You feel me? You feel me? I don't know if he did that intentionally. And at times when I look down at the shoe because the heel is, is a little thickness in the heel cushion, it pops out a little bit. So those that don't know what a bunny rabbit looks like, I'm sure you do. It, the tail is puffy and it sticks out, you know, so um, pause. But the shoe it blows my mind. For the low price, you got high quality. So we're not used to New Balance doing collabs with other people and us getting a reasonable price. Most of the collabs from the Salim Benberry, um, that shoe was two something. The Emily Dior uh, New Balance, that shoe was two something. This is a collab that you're getting price point around $100. And I guess in your brain you're saying, yeah, it should be for 480 But it's a quality leather shoe. You got quality leather throughout nice soft you got the new buck suede on the end and then the hidden details that is amazing on the shoe right here on the heel that is a rabbit embossed on the heel of the shoe then there's a rabbit on the corner side embossed on the leather the tongue is leather and then you got some canvas piping around the bottom section of the heel area and outlining around the tongue again jeremy fish is an amazing artist i love his work i actually want to own some of his pieces i wouldn't mind getting a tattoo so hopefully you don't have to feel the way i feel about that but shoe of the year for me is one price point check two comfortability check functionality this shoe is versatile you can rock it with anything dress it up dress it down you are good to go um in the story which the story and how it and what it means to me not what it means to you what it means to me this is why sneak of the year is subjective because it's how that that person feels with the shoe so i was somehow touched and moved by jeremy's story jeremy uh had a I'm, I'm hopefully I'm not getting this wrong, uh, a, a brain aneurysm, he survived, which is a blessing within itself, and had to change his lifestyle. Um, with that lifestyle change, he did some collabs with some other individuals, such as um, creating bongs with some of his designs. I know it's a little weird, um, but I just think that's unique, even though I'm not a smoker. I still think that's unique that out of a tragedy, he still was able to get other things um, you gotta look at his story. His story is amazing. Um, I don't want to miss details of the shoe by going into Jeremy's story. This is the cushion plate insert. Look at the details on that. That is amazing. Look at that. That's crazy. 
I think it's the same in, on both. Yes, it's the same on both. So both of them have that same detail. Bottom sole has that same rubber shock absorption for impact when landing, um, when, when you skate. Uh, I'm not skating in these. Uh, again, at my age, I think you guys heard me say before, I still skate. However, I don't go through skate shoes like that anymore. I have two pairs of skate shoes and they're still good um, from when I started skating in them over three years ago. So, but these are uh, these are a lifestyle shoe for me. I love them. Uh, I don't think we missed any, oh, last detail is nice too, is look at that pink stitching around the sole of the shoe. Um, I think we captured, it's about one, two, three, four, four bunnies on the shoe. And I may do some close-ups so you just in case this doesn't go right. There, there, and we definitely have to do a close-up of that one because you can't see it very well. There, embossed, um, and there is the fourth one. I counted four buddies. I mean, did you see? Uh, sorry. Uh, great shoe. There's nothing else to talk about. Jeremy Fish, New Balance, 480, 303, Skate Company. It's still available. You don't even have to get from 303, but that's where I picked these up at. Still available. Grab them. Go get them. Again, thank you, Carla. Appreciate you. Um, appreciate all of you guys out there. Uh, but I would not have found this shoe was not for her so i appreciate you other than that that's it appreciate you guys rocking with me remember get out there and be great then go out there and be greater it's your boy sneaker flexibility for another episode of old head sneaker closet peace